hello guys welcome back to my channel nerdy nerdy is the name today i'm back with another video that is related to integration so we are going to see how we are going to solve the integration problems using our scientific calculator so first i'm going to take a basic example that is our okay so the one thing about using the scientific calculator to ca calculate the integration part is it only works for a definite integrals not the indefinite integrals so that we have to keep in mind okay so first i'm taking a basic example here this is x square dx and uh, what do you say uh, say 0 and 2 okay so this we are going to solve using our scientific calculator nothing it's very uh, simple you can see the integration option here that is click on this okay right now we need a x square first so you can see a x here you can directly click on this or else you have to click on shift and go to another option it's 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 time taking so better we'll go with this x done now we need to give the limits so that is 0 and 2 so again we will go sorry go back here down click on the down button here the limit is 0 click on 0 again we'll go up and our limit is 2 so click on 2 great so after uh, we have uh, arranged everything but one thing is missing our power so let's go back here give our power okay so here we are going to need the power that is x square so you can see here this power right that's a square thing click on this we got x square limit is 0 to 2 that dx integration of x square the range is 0 to 2 so click on equals to we have gotten our answer that is 8 by 3 that was easy next is let us try with the say our trigonometric functions so we have sine x dx or 0 to pi by 2 okay so okay we are going to clear this off again we the important thing about this is this is pi by 2 right so it should be converted to radian form like our current setting is in degrees so first we need to convert it into radians then we need to enter our values so go to shift menu setup here you can see angle unit so that is option 2 go to radian we want a radian go to 2 okay so you can see the r symbol here that's done now let's get back to our integration that is integral so now we need sine right right we need sine so click on the sine option here you can see sine cos and tan all the trigonometric functions here so we need sine click on sine go to the bottom sorry uh yes what i was saying is okay so sine is like sine of x or something right like that so here we have x option click on that directly great now we just need to go to our limits what are the limits first thing is zero great next is we need a uh, pi by two so uh, pi by two as in it's in the form of a division form right so click on this option so it'll be easier for you click on this now if you need pi you can see here here there's a pi option so how to get it click on shift then click on this option see you got the pi now it's pi by 2 click on this option 2 great this is done click on equals 2 you got the option is 1 i mean you could have done it manually but the point is how to do these type of calculation using a scientific calculator in case if you get a complex uh, you know question where you have to use this calculator so for that reason i'm just explaining you how to set use use this calculator set everything up where to go and all that's all in this video thank you so much for watching